Hey guys, that Mikey Moo back here for another video. Guys, today we're going to be talking about what to expect on EA Access for Mutt 22. Now, you might get confused because they did change the name of EA Access to EA Play. And the whole thing of that is really exact same thing it's just called ea play now it works well for their play live their ea play live and the ea play nonetheless though on august 12th if you are on console you will be able to download and play madden 22 as you guys see right here it says madden 18 trial for 10 hours now if you're on pc you get the full game on august 12th with the pre-order bonuses now if you are currently only on console you do get the full game everything that you want for only 10 hours after 10 hours you lose access to it and you cannot play it again until august 17th now on ea access trial you do not receive your pre-order bonus unless you're on pc if you're on console you would not get any kind of bonuses any kind of anything uh, you literally strictly the only thing you will get is possible solo challenges that are only on EA Access and also packs that are only available during EA Access. Other than that, you will not get anything else. So keep that in mind. Everything does transfer over though. So if you play, you know, you grind out 30 levels on EA Access, it will transfer over to the full game coming out. So again everything you do in EA Access is just a step ahead for you when the game does go ahead and release some guys like to go ahead and play EA Access to grind out levels some people like to go ahead and just you know play online see how Madden is some people like to build their teams and some people like to play just franchise mode so whether whatever you want to do you have 10 straight hours to be able to do that obviously like I said if you're on PC you do get your pre-order bonus and you get everything you get the full game on August 12th but for us console guys we have to wait till august 17th whether you're on playstation or on xbox that's how that works now like i said everything transfers over i'm talking about coins i'm talking about points i'm talking about packs everything so anything you earn on ea access you're going to be able to transfer it over to the full game now i recommend not signing up for ea access so that's ea play until you uh it actually does come out on august 12th the reason why is because there is a short window you can go ahead and sign up for and cancel EA uh, play and actually get your money back so that's why I recommend waiting I recommend probably signing up on August 12th the morning of August 12th when Madden does come out therefore you can go ahead and sign up no big deal play you 10 hours that day go ahead and get a refund and get your money back so you play it for absolutely free and you don't have to spend any money now if EA does remove the refund it's not a big deal it's only five dollars to play Madden early for 10 you know for 10 hours but if you want to play for free not spend money that's gonna be how you end up doing uh that but with that in mind no promos get released during ea access but what i will say is the market is completely different now this year like i said before there is a price range for the highest price you can put a card up for and of course there's a medium price now there is no lower price at the moment will they add that will they initiate that it's very possible they have said before that it is possible they will and usually when ea sports is going yeah there's a chance yeah usually there's a chance right so with that in mind though at the moment they have not done anything like that so we have to assume that they won't at the moment so my recommendation would be right when you do go ahead and put on the access hold on to the, every card you pull every every card you get every card you pull hold on to it the reason why i say that is because the price should go up once people start playing the game more people start playing the game these cards although yes they are in EA Access, people are pulling packs, so pulling these cards, the cards should go ahead and stay at a top dollar in EA Access, but then once the game comes out, more people are playing, more people are wanting these cards, the card price should go up a tad bit. Now, it won't go up too much because of the fact that there's a price range cap, but it should go up just a tad bit that will go ahead and make you more coins. So, when you are playing EA Access, every card you pull, just hold on to it, wait for the actual game to come out, because uh, you're going to go ahead and get more coins for your dollar by going ahead and waiting not too much more because again like i said there's a price cap which absolutely sucks and i also wonder if he is going to flood the market with um extra cards just trying to go ahead and keep price caps at certain price caps but we have to wait and see what ea ends up doing nonetheless though uh solos are going to be as followed 
pretty much not not all the greatest solos we're gonna see this year come out on EA Access. Keep in mind that week one of Man tw uh, 22, we're probably gonna see some kind of promo come out, like again, primetime performers. Obviously, we'll come out like you know once the football season starts. We're probably gonna see some kind of promo like that come out the first week of Madden. You're not gonna see that on EA Access, guys. When I just tell you right now. The EA Access is literally, if you think of the beta, it's the beta as a finalized form. That's what it is. It's not, you know, this complete... It is complete because it's the same game that releases on PC. But I'm saying it's not this, you know, what Madden will be this year. It's not going to be promos. It's not going to be, you know, constant updates. It's going to get glitchy. I'm telling you right now, you're going to load up EA Access and you're going to glitch and something's going to happen and your stupid stuff's going to happen. Your guy's going to jump through the screen, whatever. It's going to happen because that's just how it is on EA Access every single year. And even when you go ahead and get into the full game, even the first week, first month of the game, you're going to see glitches and EA does go ahead and hopefully somewhat does go ahead and fix those glitches and you know adds to the game a little bit so again there's gonna be stuff like that we just see day one so keep that in mind it's not going to be a polished version of the game now if you guys are new you guys did not watch my videos you might not know yes there was actually going to be a um what's it called there was actually a um can't think of what i was trying to say there is a scouting feature, scouting stuff coming to franchise mode in September. So again, like I said, more stuff that's just not added to the game when EA Access does come out. But pretty simple, it's $5. You can get a refund for it once you go ahead and get done it. You get 10 hours to play on Xbox or PlayStation. And it is honestly a fun time. You can record anything you play. So if anything crazy happens, you can record it. Go ahead and post it on TikTok, YouTube, whatever. So it is a very fun event. Uh, August 12th, guys, it will... It will come out when will it come out on august 12th my guess will be 12 a.m thank you guys for watching see you guys next one peace out